Hello and I welcome you to my video classes on concrete technology and uh, we are discussing mainly about the special concretes so in the special concrete now today we are starting a new special concrete it is a lightweight concrete so lightweight concrete is one of the special concrete and today we are mainly discussing in a li lightweight concrete about introduction materials and types right mainly it is what very important we have to study the types of lightweight concretes so let's see what you mean by lightweight concrete so lightweight concrete mixture is made up of cement water and with a lightweight coarse aggregate and sometime a portion or entire aggregate instead of normal aggregate so as per the like no definition you can understand lightweight concrete means what it is also normal concrete but only the difference is what instead of using a normal aggregate whatever we are using the normal aggregate here we are using porous aggregate lightweight aggregate a porous aggregate or lightweight aggregate it is maybe in terms of partial replacement or complete replacement of a traditional or conventional aggregates so now if you see the density of the concrete if you see the density of lightweight concrete the density of lightweight concrete in the range of 1440 to 1840 kg per meter cube but if you see the normal concrete density normal concrete density is 2240 to 2400 kg per meter cube so very like comparatively with the normal concrete density of lightweight concrete is less so that's what it is called as a lightweight concrete let us see what are the materials used for preparation of lightweight concrete as i told in the definition same like no almost they will use all the ingredients whatever they are required for the uh, preparation of concrete similarly cement as a binding material or lime as a binding material right aggregates right and even water the only one difference is what you are they are using lightweight aggregate lightweight aggregate so you can see in the image right it is what you can see it is uh, lightweight concrete blocks right so that's what you can see the lightweight aggregate inside if the block color those shows the placement of lightweight aggregate or porous aggregate so now you can see it is what porous fine aggregate and here it is porous coarse aggregate and if you want to see the some examples of uh, uh, porous aggregates right aggregates such as volcanic pumice clay slate shale scoria tuff and pellet so these are the some examples of porous aggregates right these are the some examples of porous aggregate maybe it is prepared artificially or maybe they obtained by naturally also for example if you take clay and with some uh, reactions chemical reactions or some uh, like no uh, if you use enough furnace a uh, furnace right so then they may prepare with the artificially also right and even other products such as air cold air cooled blast furnace slag also as i told blast furnace slag it is what we are getting after the like no or uh, when you are product when you are manufacturing the iron during the manufacturing iron while uh, heating the iron some slag will be produced that slag will be air cooled and that may be used as a coarse aggregate even it is what blast furnace slag is also one of the coarse aggregate or aggregate used in a lightweight concrete so now we will see the types now we studied materials materials means what same material will be used for as per the as a conventional concrete the only one difference is they are using lightweight aggregates right so some of the examples of lightweight aggregates are volcanic pumice clay slate shale scoria tuff and pellet these are used in the form of sizes they may be made it like no uh, with a chemical reactions or some reactions so now we will see the types of lightweight concrete so here also types of lightweight concrete is ba mainly based on the materials used mainly based on the material used and first one is lightweight aggregate concrete by the name itself you can understand it is what mainly differ by aggregate used so here aggregate are used mainly with the lightweight right so it is what mainly related to aggregate some other types of lightweight aggregates are related to some other maybe they are making lightweight but uh, the main factor is different but here it is 
main factor is aggregate aggregate replacement is there right we will see the aggregate lightweight aggregate concrete lightweight aggregate concrete is prepared by using lightweight aggregate or low density aggregate such as volcanic pumice clay slate shale scoria tuff and pellet so these are the some materials as we studied in previous um, previous slide same uh, week uh, aggregates have seen similarly here also they are using the same aggregates right so concrete is considered to be lightweight is density is not more than 2200 kg per meter cube so here also they are telling not should not be more than 2200 meter cube even we studied the it, it, it belongs to in the range of 1440 2840 km cube so here also maximum limit they are telling it is 2200 kg per meter cube the use for used for cost costing structural steel to protect it against to fire corrosion as a covering for architectural purpose so this type of concrete they are using mainly on steel right steel materials and why they are using steel materials to protect the steel from fire and to protect the steel from corrosions as well as to give the architectural effect also to give the architectural purpose even they are using as a heat insulation on the roofs and uh, insulating the water pipes if you have seen many times right some steel pipes will be there around the steel pipes they may use some layer of concrete as a protective layer to control from the corrosion to control from the fire to make the insulation right so these kind of concrete they use for mainly for covering providing the covering around the steel structures and some other structural requirements if you if you want to study what are the different materials used for different purposes right different aggregates are there which are used for the lightweight aggregate concrete we have a different types of like aggregates so one is uh, pumic right first one is pumic is used for reinforced concrete roof slab see here it is what mainly they are used for reinforced concrete roof slab rcc roof slab and mainly for industrial roofs mainly for industrial roofs next is foamed slag foamed slag was first lightweight aggregate suitable for reinforced concrete so this is also right useful for reinforced concrete so next one is expanded clays and shale expanded clays and shale capable for achieving sufficient high strength for PSC PSC is what pre-stressed concrete pre-stressed concrete means it is what whatever concrete like you no know, structures are there they are already prepared on the site on the inside may be prepared in some other place and they brought to construction site right they use it for construction works it is what called pre-stressed concrete PSC in the short form but for the PSC structures expanded clay and shale lightweight aggregates are best suitable or more suitable next is fuel ash aggregate so fuel ash aggregate is being used for variety of the structural purpose so it is not specifically any purpose right they use for all uh, structural purposes so next we will see next type of lightweight aggregate so next type of lightweight aggregate is aerated concrete so here also you can understand by name only you can differentiate between different types of lightweight aggregate by the names so first one is lightweight aggregate concrete so lightweight concrete but it is mainly depends on the lightweight aggregates but here aerated concrete or aerated light light lightweight concrete it mainly differ by creations of air bubbles or creations of gas bubbles it may be a physically or it may be a chemical process so now we will see what you mean by aerated concrete aerated concrete is a lightweight concrete uh, cellular material consisting of cellular material consisting of cement or lime so both are binding materials and sand or other sil siliceous material with the uniform distributed closed air bubbles the same concrete almost same where whatever materials are required they are using right they are using water cement and other uh, fine aggregate or coarse aggregate but they are creating 
some voids or some air bubbles or gas bubbles right so if by introducing the gas bubbles right you can see in the image it is what one of the example of aerated concrete you can see small small bubbles these small small bubbles are uniformly distributed throughout the concrete so due to the creation of this kind of voids it reduces the concrete volume when concrete volume is reduced right it uh, uh, definitely it is at a light weight you can see here block hollow blocks so here hollow hollow block is also reducing the dead load or material load that's what it is called as aerated concrete so now see this type of concrete is variously known as aerated concrete or it is also called as aerated say aerated concrete and cellular concrete or foamed concrete or gas concrete see many names are there for aerated concrete one is aerated common name next is also called as cellular concrete it is also called as foamed concrete and it is also called as gas concrete right so now we will see how they will prepare this type of concrete it made made by either physical or chemical process during which either air or gas is introduced into the concrete so same process while well, how we are preparing the concrete here also they are preparing the same but only difference is physically or chemically physically or chemical process uh, they will introduce air or gas bubbles air or gas bubbles into the concrete so which creates the void which creates the void and which reduces the column of concrete mass right like using air retaining agent right and even aluminum powder so these are the some chemicals or you can call it these are some agents some external materials you can also call these as super pasteurizers or minerals right so they are using these kind of materials to mainly increase the air contamination or gas contamination in the concrete aerated concrete has a lowest density thermal conductivity and strength so aerated concrete has a lowest density thermal conductivity as well as strength like a timber so timber we have seen right so how we can uh, make the different uh, cutting of timber right oh, uh, like no, we can drill the timber even you can cut it similarly here also you can cut the concrete even you can hold the concrete right so but only one difference between timber and concrete this lightweight aerated concrete is timber is the combustible right combustible so but concrete is non combustible you cannot burn in the uh, like no fire next is available to use user in the pre-cost unit so this type of concrete is available to user in a pre-cost units only like no you can see only right if you want to use this uh, aerated concrete then it is uh, it is like no available in the form of pre-cost or you can call it is prepared in a factory and after preparation in the factory they are coming to the market and from the market we are taking this for construction activities so even these kind of concretes mainly known as autoclaved autoclaved aerated concrete blocks autoclaved aerated concrete blocks acc blocks and used for floors used for wall construction and used for roof covering or even you they are used for roof constructions i think you understood now we will go for last method of lightweight concrete it is no fine concrete so by name also you can understand this that you can make the difference be difference between first concrete aggregate concrete second one is aerated concrete and this one is no fines aggregate no fine this is a very important keyword why because it is also normal concrete but the only one difference is here they are not using any fine aggregates it is free from the fine aggregate this concrete is mainly made up of water cement and coarse aggregate there is no any fine aggregate or 100% like no they are not using fine aggregate that's what is called as no fine no fine concrete so we'll see the definition no fine concrete as the term implies is a kind of concrete from which fine aggregate fraction has been omitted from the conventional concrete so the fraction of fine aggregate fraction of fine aggregate omitted from the conventional concrete means there is no use of fine aggregate for the preparation of the concrete this concrete is made up of only by coarse aggregate cement and water 
very often only single size core aggregate of size passing through 20 mm retained uh, sorry 20 mm passing through 20 mm and retained in 10 mm we already studied the uh, like no c1 analysis right we had a different size of shoes one is 20 mm bigger size 10 mm small size but in this no fine aggregate we are using single size of the aggregates right which is passed through 20 mm but retained in 10 mm shoe right the only this type of size of uh, coarse aggregate has been used for the no fine concrete right that's what is called a single size coarse aggregate of 20 mm passed and 10 mm retained right so the product so formed has many uniform distributed whites throughout it mass so if you see the concrete right you can see in the blocks right here this concrete is prepared but this prepared when they are using only coarse aggregate there is no filling materials when there is no filling materials then definitely it creates the the yeah, whites whites within the concrete structure you can see that you know because uh, like uh, different size of course aggregate will be there and there is no proper filling of all the whites so due to non proper filling of all the whites there will be a whites you can see here one block is they shown the round color blocks in the round color blocks you can see water is passing from top to bottom why water is passing from top to bottom because it is what uh, no fine concrete or it has a porous or it has a whites within the concrete right next is no fine concrete is mainly used for load bearing cost insight external internal wall so even they are using for construction of external wall internal wall non load bearing wall under floor filling or solid ground solid ground solid ground floors so here you can see here it is one of the image in this image um, the top surface of the concrete is prepared with different aggregate and uh, and the below the material it is what different material uh, it is what uh, preparation of floor right and even you can see here it is one of the it is a uh, lightweight concrete blocks are no fine aggregate blocks it is also used for a preparation of floor maybe for parking or maybe for pavement right and no fine aggregate mainly used for load bearing right so although strength of the no fine aggregate a, a concrete is considerably lower than the normal weight concrete so here they are telling that the strength strength of no fine aggregate is considerably lower than normal weight concretes right but this strength coupled with lower dead load of the structure it mean we know that the strength of the concrete is less but the strength even you can couple or you can balance or you can manage because the dead load of the structure is less right when we are using the lightweight concrete the dead load is lesser than normal concrete if you see normal concrete dead load is more then strength is required more because it carrying the dead load as well as live load so here dead load is less so that's what we can coupled with the dead load of the lightweight aggregate right so that's what we can use for some other construction even as per the uh, experiment even we can use this kind of aggregate for 20 story building constructions right so no problem it has some standards and it has some advantages as well as disadvantages but it is a good method where you can decrease the dead uh, dead dead load of the structure so due to the decrease in the dead load of the structure then even though it is a less strength we can use for construction activities right so thank you for watching this video